I'm really excited about our next project. We're going to be going to energy. We're going to be building a solar array that will just, it's going to be phasing in on larger and larger scale, but for right now it's just going to be our office. And before we even get started with that, we're going to be putting in a post that's 6 by 6 by 14 feet long to hold the array. And I just wanted to give you an overview of how we're going to do it. Uh, you can say, well, that's pretty simple, but some thoughts should go into it because have you ever had a fence that just wants to lean all the time or uh, a clothesline or mainly something that has a lot of weight on it would be like a uh, garden gate? Let me show you why that is. Here's our hole and our footer and you stick the post on top of the footer and most people backfill with concrete and then fill in the rest with dirt. But what happens with that idea is you end up having a post with concrete at the base of it. And in essence, you have a clump of concrete at the bottom and it does this kind of thing. Okay? The way we're going to get rid of that is we're going to dig our hole, put a concrete footer down, and backfill with dirt a little bit. And what that will do is create a rudder for the base of the post. Okay? Then we're going to put a collar of concrete around it and then backfill with dirt. And that rudder is going to keep this thing so the concrete ends up being a little bit higher on it and keep it from rocking. Plus, we're going to drill half-inch holes all the way through in both directions of this post and put rebar in it. And that's going to tie the concrete to the post and then, again, backfill. So that's what we're going to be doing next. All right, roughly 16 inches up from the bottom of the post, I'm going to be putting in some rebar. safety classes because of this uh, cutoff wheel. We're going to cut this at 16 inches. This is simply rebar stock, half inch and it's a four and a half inch uh, grinder with a cutoff wheel. 16 inch in length rebar that's a half inch thick. Drive it into our holes. So you get something like that. About even on each side.
we're going to be mixing 160 pounds of concrete, two bags, around this hole. I like my mix a little bit dry when I'm putting in a post, so you can water it down a little bit more. We're in a very sandy area anyhow, so if you have too much water, it'll drain away from it anyhow, but I'd, it's stronger when it's drier. You want to make sure again you plumb this way and this way and you want to make sure that the face of your post wherever it is is facing south because that's where your ray is going to go.